Okay, we're definitely in the getting civilized phase. I've added a stairway outside my door to the tiny bedroom. Got rid of all that dirt that was leading back into this little chamber. Added a stairway and a door going up here so I don't have to dig out the, uh, the dirt every time I want to come and go. And I can see outside. I can see if that Enderman, for example, is right there. And he's not right at the moment. Cleared out all of this gravel that was up here and from on top. And I have confirmed that, in fact, the gravel is not the only thing that was keeping the ocean from flooding in. I haven't really built that second floor yet. I imagine I, I could do that not right away. Built a door here with a little stairway coming up. And uh, it's getting really, really cozy. Patching this up. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to want to uh, bring this wall back and uh, and just make that kind of a an empty secret chamber or something. I don't have any reason for it, but but at any rate, what I'm going to do right now is see if there's anything behind this wall. And we're going to do it in a very special way. And I think what I have to do is place this piston here like this because you have to face the piston the way you want it to be going. I couldn't really face it with the face there because there's that block there. So let's see, and I need to put a button nearby and that does in fact work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take a cobblestone block and put it in there. Now, if it's able to push that cobblestone block, that means there's less than a total of 12, so it's less than 11 deep, and it ain't doing it. So there's like solid rock, at least at that point, for, uh, for quite a ways, so there's no point in trying to dig through there. Uh, no point in trying to run that either. And now let's try the same thing right next to it just in case um, there was a it's just that's a, a an insanely deep maybe not right next to it but just in case that's like an insanely and improperly deep uh, extension of, of, of rock so here's this, and, uh, same situation here, we'll place our piston, we'll place our button, actually let's go ahead and place our block, well no, let's place our button first so we can test the piston, make sure it's working. Yes, the piston works. Now try it again. Nope not going anywhere. It looks like that's all solid block for um, as far as you can care to look. Let's see any other experiments we could do. We could see we could see how high it goes. Let's see maybe we could put this oops. No. It's going to make me uh won't let me do it that way. Okay, so let's chip away some overhead here. And let's uh, see if it'll let me put it here. There we go. I didn't bring any redstone, so we'll have to do this the uh, Poor man's way. I have redstone in the in the apartment, but I don't have it on me. So let's see. We'll put the button there. And that, that looks fine. We're gonna have to put a couple of blocks for this one because of the height and the ceiling. Does not push it up. 
So that's that's solid rock going up for quite a long ways. And uh, that means that uh, this is pretty much the apartment. These are the dimensions of the apartment. We don't need to uh, expand on that. We don't need to make it bigger. We don't need to test it out to see how far it goes because it, it's solid rock for 10 or so blocks up and to that direction anyway, back that away. So no point in going there. Um, so now what are we going to do? Let's put up our, um, our stuff. Let's continue to improve our creature comforts here to really get in and out easily. And uh, we'll put up the piston and we'll put up our button. And we'll put up we got a bunch of Oh, don't need these. And uh, probably won't need those. Let's see how many, how many torches do we have. Let's top off the arrows. Just uh, a little top off there so we got arrows. And uh, let's, let's make another batch of... Uh, stack of uh, torches. Because now we'll be doing um, just for the the short term we're basically going to go out. We're going to go back to where we were and we're going to continue on uh, following around to the right until we can light up as far as we get with however many torches we've got. Uh, an extra shovel, I do. And, um... That'd be good for clearing cobwebs. I did one. Usually you get sharpness. I did used one level to do this iron sword. I got Bane of Arthropods. So I'm pretty happy with Bane of Arthropods here. I'm going to have to go back to the ranch soon and, um, and get another one. Uh, Bane of Arthropods 4, though I don't have another 5. This one's nice as it has fire aspect and knockback. I definitely want to keep that. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if you can go to a 6, but uh, I'll try to do that with my anvil when the time comes. For today, this is all opened up because this is safe and sealed off. And uh, actually, this is a lot of room. I think I have more floor space in the apartment now than I have back in uh, back at the ranch. But anyway, I'm gonna head back over there, and we'll just pick this up when I uh, when I get there. Back where we were killing cave spiders, uh, probably a minute or a few minutes ago. Your time. See you there. Okay, this looks like the place. This is a fairly complicated, yeah it is. This is a fairly complicated uh, dungeon here. Let's go ahead and clear these out with my low cost sword. Don't hear any more spiders, so uh, hopefully that's all the uh, cave spider spawners that we have around here. Get this lit up. And uh, one there is a non-navigational lighting only marker. Okay, is there somebody in here? Don't see anybody. Anybody here? No. Nobody here. Let's, uh, Light it up so it stays that way. Alright. Well, that was fairly uneventful. 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 Uh, get rid of these things. They, uh, they're navigation hazards. 
So let's see, we'll continue on over here. I think I've heard, oh, and there's the zombie over there. I believe that I've heard that um, the, the, when the terrain generator creates the, um, uh, creates, Abandoned mine shafts, this is where it starts off. This would be like the zero point. And, uh, and they build them out from there. And I guess that's of some interest for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Okay, let's get a little maneuvering room. Got to dance here. Okay. So even though this is a specialized uh, sword just for the purpose of um, spiders, it's still pretty good against other creatures as well. So, um, so it is nice because it has that uh, it's diamond and it has the uh, fire aspect. And there's my skeleton. And so, ooh, and there's, there's that guy. We don't want to deal with him. He can't get through, though, so he's, he's, he's a goner. If they ever decide to have... Uh, oh, get out of my face, dude. Okay, careful with that gunpowder flames around down here. Alright, and then we gotta get the... Alright. Now, let's see. Where's... I don't want to leave my back open to attacks like that. So let's, uh... Let's light this place up a little bit. Don't know where those guys are. I may as well grab the experience. I'll be heading back to the, uh... Um, to the ranch, and I think I'll be, because I need to make apple juice. Oh, there's him. Okay. Yeah, fine. Okay. And yeah, could have done that a little better, but uh, but I didn't. So here we go. Fix this up a little bit. need to get this area here uh, lit up better. There's a chest. There's a regular spider. I'm not even going to use Bane of Arthropods 5 on that, that regular spider there. I'm just going to shoot him with my arrow. And, uh, let's see. I know I took a left there, and I don't ordinarily do that, but again, uh, it looked like uh, it was the less. Uh, okay, and there's really not, not much potential for mischief coming from this direction. So, but there is from over there. It's the way I came in. Come in here. Yeah, I came in this way, and then there's that chest. Okay.
Where is this? Where is this galley? Don't know, do you? Figure him out. I made more uh, torches. A torch intensive effort here. Where'd that skelly go? There he is. What are you doing hanging around in the cobwebs for? Uh, not a place to be. Alright. Probably came in from up there, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, prevent that from happening again, and, uh, and we'll carry on down here. Got a little lag there, caused me to put down two torches. I only intended one. Okay, and then this is getting out of the abandoned mine shaft or at the periphery of it. Uh, and here's where our skelly came down from, I think. Uh, fairly limited danger from that direction. Uh, and great danger from that direction. And this is getting secure here. standards this is a fairly large uh, oh, it goes down there too uh, this is fairly large there's really no potential for anything coming in from that direction because uh, because there's a big hole there, and I saw the uh, saw the zombie down there. So for today, that's that's going to be safe. That's fine because anything that nothing's going to get past the fences there, and doesn't look like there's any way they can climb up it. Let's take that that rail. Yeah, there's. Ooh, I'm stuck on a cobweb. Stuck on a cobweb. Uh, he's angry. He's looking angry. Yeah, I'm safe here, though. Uh, actually, I could be safe over there. I could be safe right here. There he is. Oh, he's right behind me. No fair, dude. Sneaking up on me with your pearl. Did you give me a pearl? Oh, I gotta take care of this other one first. Let me get a little more uh, overhead here. Oops, that's not overhead. There, that's overhead. They never drop the block. You ever notice that? They never drop their block. It's like sometimes that'd be kind of cool if you could get the uh, the block, even though it's never anything useful. Uh, but sometimes it's like grass, a grass block. Uh, no, two zo two Enderman and no uh, no Ender Pearl. So. Uh, you know, where's the justice in that? What's that down there? There's something green down there. Not sure if it's I uh, Don't know what it is. Could be a zombie. Or it could be... Uh, sounds like a zombie. But you never know. It could also be... Uh, yeah, I think that one... That's a... Uh, that's a creeper there. Let's shoot him. He's dead. And then there's that zombie. So 
Zombies are a little tougher than creepers. He's really got no way to get to me. But, uh, he makes too much noise. 